I have just got this into a demoable state. It is an automated demo for websites. I'm planning to use it for creating a new course. I recently published a Mastering Drupal for Content Managers course on Udemy, and I've had a few registrations. So it's inspired me to make another one. In the interest of that, I wanna try and reduce my overheads, get things out faster. I'm looking at creating maybe some mini courses instead of another big one straight up. So I'll put those up and earn a little bit of cash for each of those before creating a big one. And also looking for ways to speed up the process. It's irony, it's taken me maybe three weeks to get this demo to the point. I'm gonna run through a demo here. What I'm able to do is actually write a script about how the website works. You know, kind of go to this page, click this button, enter text here, Da da da, and it does a demonstration. It drives a fake mouse in the web page, shows a web uh, a mouse on the web page, moves that around, shows a message box at the bottom, and explains what's going on. And it also triggers voiceovers from me that I have pre-recorded in a bunch of sound files. So what I am going to do now, installing Drupal. Whoa, it's going to start. Bring that up. I should be able to bring that up here. I think that should be a bit quieter for you. Um, this bit takes quite a while. Let's speed through it. Can we jump through. Yeah, jump through. We'll click on the cookie settings button. Cool little see. features in here where you can see when I tell it to click on a button, it puts the pulsing thing, tells and you where now to click. We'll choose to allow or disallow unnecessary cookies based on your preference. This will help streamline our user experience on the Pantheon platform. Okay, and then see it clicks the button. Let's now navigate to the Pantheon login page. Log in now. We'll click on the to login, link, login button. And proceed. There we go. Now I'm gonna speed through a few bits. It's going to log in the Pantheon. It's going to go log in, do the login process. It's gonna come in here, and tell you how to click on this create new site button, how to install, choose Drupal, WordPress, or another kind of site, how to select Drupal 10, and then how to configure that on Pantheon. Our site easily. There we go, it answers the site name. I'll speed through that next. And then we click the continue button. Go. All right, so it's all cool features on there. You saw the message okay, box so down the bottom faded out currently because being the, con deployed. The, the continue this button was behind the message box. Minutes. Little so tweaks like that. Patient as Pantheon sets up our site. You'll see this bit. I've edited this in the video editor to make it go 3000 times faster because this takes maybe 15 minutes and I don't want my student to have to sit there and watch this deploy for 15 minutes, they will need to give them Congratulations, our site has been successfully deployed. Click the Visit Your Pantheon Site Dashboard link to start managing your new Drupal site, access additional tools, and configure settings. Hey, look, my pulsing's not working. <laughs> not on that button. <coughs> Small things. A feature I do want to do is make to visit the development version of your Drupal. Let me pause that for uh, a feature I do want to have is that when this when the mouse cursor is on the screen and clicks on something on an audible click noise, I could make it make typing noises when you type into a text box too. I don't think that's that uh, that's very important. The click I think will really enhance this a little bit because even though the mouse does do a uh, if we. See this again. This environment allows you to test changes and so configurations you do safely see it do an animation. before deploying them to your live site. It ensures that all modifications also are thoroughly my message box minimizing risks on this page and ensuring so a few smooth little transitions. Um, not that you'd notice if I didn't point it out, I believe. So you did see that the mouse does do an animation. Now that we have created our new Drupal site on Pantheon, let's we'll move on to installing to Drupal. Click on this, this involves. Watch, watch this animation. See the animation there. Ready? Use However, this takes the student and through how to install the Drupal site. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. And fill this information in. I do want to... The, the big advantage of this is now that I've got this whole demo laid out, although I recorded this, I used a screen recording to, to let the demo flow out and just recorded the screen as it played that. I can go in and make tweaks. I can add another message box or go and highlight a, a text box and go give the student more information about that. Each little sound bite is its own separate sound file, so I can swap in bits of sound files. It's gonna make it a lot easier to customize and tweak small 
demos than it did by me doing it by hand. And if I want to make a change, I've got to sit there and go through the whole process myself. This way, I've got an automated little robot that can go and run through the demo for me. And I can iterate on them and, and improve them and not have to record them all up front. That's the big advantage too, is I can actually get all my little tutorials set out and have them in the scripts and be able to make those tweaks and then go and build them all instead of making videos, uploading them to my course host and then wanting to make a tweak later and having to go and re-edit that whole video. It also should save me a lot of editing time uh, because it's not a recording of me doing the screen and having to go in and cut bits out and speed things up. It just plays, right? And a lot of the editing's pre-done. So I'm quite excited about it. There are a few tweaks. The major new feature that I really want to add that's going to be important, and um, I really think I'm going to do it this way, is instead of just the audio, be able to play a little video and pop it down in a, a square down here. Right, so I can record instead of a soundbite, record a video and have the video of me pop up just like it does on this one, right? See where I'm showing up down in this bottom right hand corner, but move to the left a bit, it'll be within the website. I'm quite excited about being able to do that. Now, the big limitation of this is that it is limited to a website. It drives the browser itself, it automates the web browser, not the desktop of the computer. I do have some tools that can automate the desktop. Uh, so I'm thinking down the line, right? For now, I just got to get this course done and I don't need to be able to control the desktop. But say I did a Drupal development course where I want to go show them how to type in certain codes, open files within a console outside the browser, uh, things like that, then I want to be able to drive the desktop too. So I'm looking at doing that as well, but that's down the line. For now, just to get these courses out, this is what I need to do. And... Um, it runs only in Chrome. I kind of wish, because I kind of want to market this tool too, this demo tool. It's something I can market to developers, I assume. I can put up on GitHub in a private repository and give people access to that. Um, I'm hoping, hey, if I set that up, maybe I'll make a bit of pocket money off that too. Lots of little things to make, lots of little bits of pocket money to hopefully add up to some more. That's the demo. Um, speed this thing to the end does the install right and then install complete and then there's an outro message at the end we created a new drupal site and completed the installation process well done i think with the video added the mouse click that'll be there i've been trying really hard for three weeks to iron the bugs out enough to get this stable enough to demo what it does now i'm quite excited i've got a lot more to do uh, i've been working on this to the detriment of other tasks to really get this done i'm glad to hit this milestone and Hey, if you're still here watching, if you've enjoyed that, thanks very much. Thanks for staying. I hope to um, keep updating you guys on more to come. Keep following my journey. I've got my fingers in a few different pies. I'm trying a few different things, but these courses are making some cash. It's where my expertise is. I've been doing Drupal for 15 years. It's an obvious place to start. Let's see where this road takes us. Cheers.